We got a box in the mailbox today. What did we get? What did you order this time? Well, had to do some shopping while I was at Oshkosh for tools, too. Uh, so, our new box from Cleveland Tools. It's kind of like Christmas. I told you Oshkosh is just like Christmas. Does that mean Mike is Santa? Mike is Santa Claus. <laughs> he... I tell you, this box practically beat us home from Oshkosh. <laughs> what did we get? Bubble wrap. Oh, goodness. What are... So these I'm really excited about. I did not know what they were. You want to open that for me? Uh, until we talked to Mike. And... He explained it, and I was like, I got to have them. We, as you all know, we're in our tail kit, so we're working with a lot of edges right now. And these particular squeezers fit in the pneumatic or hand squeezer and help you with the edges, the trailing edges. Because they're specifically shaped for the, the angle. for the angle for the elevator and the rudder. And I think it's gonna make our life a lot yep. easier. So you simply put these into the pneumatic squeezer. I sure hope I'm doing this right or Mike is gonna kill us when he sees this video. Um, you're not. There you go. And it gets the angle just right. So when you have the trail and edge down here, it's going to squeeze just perfectly and give you a perfect double flush rivet every time. This is going to take a lot of anxiety out of the build for me. And there's two different ones because on the RV14, uh, I may have this completely backwards, so don't trust me on the colors. Uh, Pay attention to Mike's video. He'll he'll tell you right. One is for the elevator and one is for. And I think the one there's one that's common across all RVs, but the 14 has something special on the elevator where there's an extrusion and the angle's different. So uh, that's what I think the red one is for. And I think the blue one is the one that goes with um, kind of all the RVs. So really looking forward to that. What else did we get? Ah, it's Christmas. Okay, so we have gone back and forth on how to go about the scotch Bright wheel. We decided when we were there, we would just talk to Mike. So we did it. We pulled the trigger and got some scotch Bright wheels. We got the, the fine and the medium or the medium and then that's the fine yeah the light duty light deburn wheel and uh, flip it over uh cut and polish wheel so this is going to polish but this is going to uh this will cut and polish this one will basically just polish and finish so looking forward to seeing why everyone raves about them so rick we got them You've been on us since the first phone call that we've had with you when we started build, building. We've got two scotch Bright wheels. Uh, Mike even told us how to disassemble and attach them back there uh, on the bench grinder. So you will see that next time. Uh, and we will report back on how much we love them, but I know everyone else does, so it can't be that bad. Okay, this one I'm super, super excited. Um, I have been told by a couple different people now, one of the things that you will love the most from Cleveland Tools, and it's only $30, and um, you want it, and of course I'm cheap and didn't want a to spend $30 on a short hose. But while we were at Mike's booth, he said, okay, yeah, the hose does make a difference. It's lighter. He really designed these specifically to minimize on weight and make it a lot more comfortable. But it's not 
just buying a hose. He makes a kit that is available on his website. And when he showed it to me, I'm like, here, take my money. <laughs> Please take my money. This is a uh, air regulator that will end up being mounted right under our um, workbench. And I'll just have to figure out exactly where I want it. We will kind of semi-permanently route our hose that we've been using to go into the inlet here. Then we've got three that we use the short hoses on. So that is going to make it a lot easier to keep things up. And one of our problems is we're tripping over hoses all the time because it takes less than an hour for it to become a rat's nest. So it comes with um, this adapter, which I'm really excited about. Three hoses already plumbed and connected with the, the connectors that we'll need on both sides. And so in theory, all I should have to do, oh, I'm going to have to change out the um, adapter that I have on it, but don't worry, he's got us covered. Um, the adapters that we need are right here. And these are gonna be lighter than those and work better. So a couple twists with a wrench and I've got these changed out for our pneumatic squeezer, our drill. Um, uh, what else do we have? Um, well, we got other pneumatic tools. We haven't been building for a week. We just got back from Oshkosh. I kind of forgot our everything. Um, so that is it. The one thing he was out of stock on <laughs> that uh, we really wanted is a metal plate that's cut with the shape and size of the uh, trail and edge piece uh, to help you counter sink. counter sink it. So Mike, we need to get with you to see when that's in stock so we can get ours. Uh, we've got the rudder trail and edge that we need to counter sink. So we're probably gonna do that the hard way and we'll be cursing Mike's name because of how hard it is. Uh, but when we get to the rest of the elevator, uh, we'll be happy because um, Cleveland Tools will get some more of our money when that comes in so that uh, we have the right tools. Remember, tools, spend money on them. If you try to cheap out on the tools, you're gonna work twice as hard and spend twice as much money in broken parts. Tools help, so invest and invest wisely. The other thing I've learned because I'm smarter than a website. I know things that the average person doesn't know. No, I don't. The tool list that Mike has up for Cleveland on Cleveland Tools website for each model, he means it. And he actively keeps it up with feedback from a whole bunch of builders. Every time I thought, oh, I don't really need that tool I can get by, I've been wrong. Let me tell you, I have been wrong. If you're about to start building, if you're contemplating building, and you're looking at that tool list and think that, ah, oh, you can do a half job, you're gonna waste money because you, I think you get a discount if you order them all in a kit. And let me tell you, Mike has more years of building experience than any of us at all. He knows. He has put together the right tools for the right job. Don't be smarter than the list. Don't, you're not going to win that game. That's what you need. Buy it. And if you're like us, where we did already have enough of the stuff, so buying the full kit didn't make sense, go back to that list and see what you're missing. And if you're missing it, get it. buy it early because it's nothing more frustrating than flip into the next page and realize you're going to be stuck for three, four, five, six days until your Cleveland Tools box shows up in the mail. Um, we already had a lot of respect for Cleveland Tools. So great. They're yeah. in the whole family. The whole family. His mom's there helping. His daughter was there doing tool demonstrations. Uh, you just, um, building is in their blood. Uh, even their um, logo on the back of their t-shirt, um, it says quality tools for builders by builders. They absolutely mean it. So Mike, pleasure to meet you at Oshkosh this year uh, and looking forward to working with you. And um, we'll continue buying tools until we run out of things to buy. Um, thank you for 
making this possible. Thanks, Mike. Now our shop is a lot more organized and we're not tripping over each other. And I'm not tripping over hoses anymore. Thanks, Cleveland Tools. <laughs>